Hey, hey, hey. to my channel. I'm Ashlyn. I'm EB. And we have officially made it to Querétaro. First impressions of Querétaro are really awesome. It reminds <laughs> us a lot of Guanajuato and San Miguel de Allende. This is both of our first times here so we're just kind of exploring, walking around, just soaking it all in. So everything that you guys see in this video is going to be our first time too. So we have a busy day of adventuring to do today Ooh. so before we do all of that we're going to stop and get some breakfast. <laughs> restaurant it's called la palma the palm there's like no one in here it's so quiet and peaceful and it's in this little corridor and the plants and prices are great they have lots of great things on the menu we both got chilaquiles and we got some french press and we got some guava juice and some cinnamon rolls and oh, we are so excited He got the rojos and they are delicious. They come with a lot of sauce, but the chips are not soggy. So it's like very freshly made. Love it. It's really sunny now, so I'm trying to stay in the shade. But for all of that, it was 420 pesos, which is like 20 bucks. So pretty good deal. Also, it's currently like a Monday midday. And what we have found out, we've been here for a few days, but the weekdays here are pretty quiet. Like these streets. I mean, there's a lot of cars parked here, but it's very quiet and peaceful. Alameda Hidalgo, which is a community park technically, but it is so beautiful and green in here. There's just all these little walkways that you can wander down. People are just sitting in here chilling. I love it. Yeah, so this place is very laid back. I think it's more of a park to serve those people that want to just come out and take a break from the city life relax yeah there's a really busy road like right next to it and then there's just this quiet little peaceful sectioned off park yeah. sort of thing there's no people selling any food merchants drinks things of that sort so it's really a nice place to unplug from the busy life out there the weather is absolutely perfect today we actually had to stop inside the pharmacy and grab some sunscreen because i am very pale i will be sunburned but this morning it was like cloudy and now it's just sunny with a slight chilly breeze. What temperature do you think it is? Um, it's about in the low 70s, high 60s. Yeah, it is amazing weather. And oh look, another statue of Miguel Hidalgo, which you can find all across the city here. For those of you that didn't know, Miguel Hidalgo is very important in the Mexican Independence War. He led the Grito in Dolores Hidalgo. And here you will find a very old gazebo and I don't know what it was used for but it looks old. labeled so if you are like a little plant nerd you could just read all about them it's so nice and there's butterflies it's so beautiful here this tree I don't know if I've ever seen a tree like this it's just like I think you really have to be here in person to understand just how cool it looks 
it's obviously better in person but pictures just they don't do it justice i think it's very important for a large city to have plenty of green space and Querétaro has no shortage of those oh, that park was lovely now where are we headed to we're going to el mirador de los arcos which is a great viewpoint for the aqueduct that was historically running here. And it's just a great view of the city as well. So we're gonna go check it out. It is an uphill little trek, but it's like 15 minutes walking uphill. So it's really not too bad. This church behind me is Iglesia de la Santa Cruz. And I'm just gonna peek my head inside just cause I can't resist. Okay, so behind me is the aqueduct of Querétaro. It's from the 18th century and it has 74 arches and it's 2,400 feet long. It's really stunning when you see it in person. I don't know how this sounds. I lost the top to my microphone, sorry. <laughs> what do you think? Ah, uh, it's magnificent views of the aqueduct and the city. You realize how hilly and green the mountains are that surround the city. Great. Yeah, so Querétaro is huge. We are staying like in the historic center, so we're not probably going to get to see a lot of these other areas that you can see from this viewpoint. But as you can tell, there are really lots of modern tall buildings farther away. It's very windy up here, so hold on to your hats, hold on to your bags, hold on to all your things. But wow, it is so nice. It's getting a little toasty out here, so we got some paletas. It's dinner time. We're gonna have dinner at this place called Hank's, which is a Louisiana cuisine restaurant. <laughs> yeah, and they have other locations. They have one in San Miguel and maybe somewhere else, it but yeah, delicious. it's so good. be clear here this price is on the pricier side but we just feel like treating ourselves tonight and the food is high quality great food so no regrets it's my channel i eat what i want yes we got some wine again we're just feeling bougie we don't usually eat like this guys so to start we got the fried oysters we thought they were going to be in the shell but they don't have a shell they're just chilling they're fried they're really good nice and salty and they make their own hot sauce here it kind of tastes like this is not an insult, it's a nice thing, like Slotchke's hot sauce. <laughs> and it comes with this like dip. Do you know what type of dip? Did you taste it? It's like a spicy, I don't know, it's like a tartar Cajun menu. tartar sauce maybe. I could read the menu and check it out for you, but these are a nice little appetizer. If you like garlic, you gotta get this fish. The smell is just, the aroma. So funny story with the onion rings. We thought they were gonna be rice because we thought he said arroz, but he said arroz. So like, arroz is rings. Anyway, so we got onion rings. We thought we were gonna get onion rice. We got onion rings. They're still really good though. The crab cakes are honestly so good. They have such a rich flavor. They're like creamy on the inside, but like crunchy on the outside. They are perfectly fried. I think that's my favorite from the meal. So we got the red snapper. It's fried to perfection. The meat falls off the bone. It's pretty nice. Because you know, sometimes eating a fish can be a little tricky with that little bones, but this one, easy. Can you see the crab? Are you kidding me? That is so beautiful, right? It's gorgeous. Hola. Buenos dias. Good morning. It's a new day. The weather is absolutely perfect as always. There is a nice little cool breeze and it's sunny. But yeah, after last night, we were so full. Honestly, after that meal, it was a little bit too much food for us, but we just laid in bed and we just watched TV. So today, we're gonna try to eat a little bit healthier. <laughs> I am really craving an acai bowl and I'm gonna make him eat one too because that's not his usual meal of choice. We're going to a place called Black Juice and Coffee Lab because they do have an acai bowl there and that's what I want. 
So that's what we're gonna do. decorated like Halloween. We both got matcha lattes and acai bowls because we're going to start off healthy today. Dave's first acai bowl. I like it so much that I'm eating it pretty quickly and I need to remember that I could potentially get a brain freeze. Yeah, you guys know I love acai bowls, so I get them all the time, but Edgar is eating one and he likes it. Yeah, it's very good, very fresh. Man, that was so good, right? It's delicious. That is a great place for remote workers because there was actually a lot of people in there working on their laptops and there was outlets at every single station, so. We wanted to stay there maybe and get some work done, but it was getting kind of crowded and we wanted a more comfortable seat, so all the couch spots were taken up, but we're gonna go somewhere else. I think it's called Monono Coffee or something. Monkey Coffee. Um, and we're just gonna post up there. This terrace is nice, but I am sweating. The shade is like clear, so the sun is penetrating through. And yeah, as you can see, I have sensitive skin, <laughs> so I'm really hot and my face gets red, but um, Edgar got the chai latte and I got this delicious espresso tonic drink. I've been seeing these drinks everywhere, but it's like a special one because it has lemon in it and it has, what is that salt? Sal de gusano, which is what? Worm salt. It's like in tequila and mezcal. Yes, used in tequila and mezcal. But yeah, it's very refreshing. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is what he said. Yes. How was your chai latte? It was milky. I had hints of cinnamon. It reminded me a lot of horchata. You know I love horchata, so it gets a five out of five for me. Very nice. My red skin has recovered a little bit, but I have sensitive skin like to the heat. Basically, if I'm even slightly hot, my skin just flushes. So that's fun about me. Now we are hungry since we basically just had smoothies for breakfast. Um, so we're gonna go find a snack. Una torta de jamón. <laughs> Edgar got a torta. Torta de jamón. 40 pesos, two bucks. It's an excellent torta. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple ingredients. Got your bread, jamón, tomatoes, sliced jalapenos. Man, they know me so well. We got it from this place called Loncheria. Las Tortugas. The turtles. For me, we stopped at this place called Ooh La La. They have so many different coffee drinks and smoothies, and they also have food, but I'm not very hungry. And Edgar's still hungry, so he's getting another smoothie. But I got the mango one. It's so good. It's literally just mango and water, but it's good. It's perfect. It's just what I want. beautiful it is here every time you turn the corner it just like is so beautiful and everything is so clean too it reminds me of walking through the streets of Italy um, other places like Lisbon and Portugal so the colonial architecture reminds me of that we are headed to dinner we're going to Chucho el Roto what does Chucho mean 
What does it mean? Chucha. It's like a nickname, probably. I don't even know why I'm wearing this jacket. It's not cold at all. But it does get chilly at night, so just in case. This is the spot to be. It is so busy here, and it's just a Tuesday night. It is absolutely lovely here. I can see why there's a little wait. Seems to be a lot of business going on here. They're mixing business and pleasure. We got some wine again. I swear we don't drink every night, but we're just feeling fancy. And wine is healthy and good for you, so we're being healthy today, so that's why we got it. So I'm not recording that much and also because everyone's staring at me because I just had the most amazing Caesar salad made And I did not know that was gonna be made by the table. I'm so excited. This is my first table side Caesar salad and Edgar got the cordon bleu How do you say that in Spanish? Pollo de cordon bleu? <laughs> Guys, what else can I say besides it's delicious? It's delicious and Edgar, do you like yours? Chicken breast was juicy tender it was baked as well, so it has a little crunch on the outside. And the cheese, once you get to the middle part, oh my god, the cheese is just an explosion. It's like a war scene. Watching the watches. We are in the middle of a movie set. <gasps> a novella set. Okay guys, we're at breakfast, it's the next day, and I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, but we have had so much fun exploring Querétaro so far. And we are excited to explore more of the region and share it with you, so stay tuned for that. Okay, thanks for watching guys, bye. Bye.